minus 10 seconds, 9. Oh, yeah, y'all. This is the Kool Aid Man. Come a little closer. We're about to bug out on a fun tip. Just you, me, and the TV. Ignition. All right. While you're laying back, maxing and relaxing to my slamming track. Well, I'm the K to the O to the O to the L. A-I-D, man, huh? Can't you tell? Stick out your tongue, huh? The bell's rung, huh? Listen to my song, huh? You can't go wrong, huh? Cause Kool-Aid is lounging and lounging is chilling. I'm the Kool-Aid man, you know, top villain. See what I'm saying, G? It doesn't make sense to me. Exert any energy when I can be playing B. You gotta take time off to just bug and sweep responsibility up under a rug. Save it for another day, Max and lay back. Bust my lazy, crazy, kooky track. Somebody say, somebody say I'm Kool-Aid man and we're gonna play. Say Twilly Twilly, Twilly Twilly. Kool-Aid man gonna make you smile. Skabilly diddly. Hey. Hey. Um. So let's get started. I've got a lot of fun flicks to show you. A wacky workout that you can do along with us and some games that'll be different every time you play them. So grab a glass of Kool-Aid. We'll be back right after this. Is your home infested with hedgehogs? Hedgehogs. They're everywhere you look. They're in your kitchen. They're in your dining room. You try to get rid of them yourself, but you're an amateur. They're just too quick for you, aren't they? What can you do? You can scream in panic, you can beg for mercy, or you can call the trained professionals who have devoted their lives to tracking down these pesky hedgehogs, fearlessly following their escape routes, no matter how perilous to their own life and limb, and then safely relocating them to where they won't bother you and your lovely home. Yes, you want the experts at Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway. Yes, at Harry's, our skilled hedgehog relocators employ the latest in laser technology to temporarily and humanely incapacitate these beasts so they can be safely transported to Hedgehog Island off the coast of Guam. No job is too small, no hedgehog too large for your friends at Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway, located on that deserted road just outside of town. If you've got a hedgehog problem, and who doesn't, call Harry's Hedgehog Hideaway. Hedgehog is our middle name. From the blackness of a hundred million nights, from uncounted millions of light years away, Boys and girls, I come from the planet Lip Sync. I'm sure you'd all like to know something about our new entertainment miracle, lip misreading. How it works, does it hurt? Well, the best way I can describe it to you is to tell you that we make our lips absolutely weird and contrived. Adverbs, pronouns, adjectives, so you believe you can read our lips even though we are saying something else. Amazing! I want to play a little board game with you, and I can tell you that although I'm 50 zillion miles from your home, I can clearly predict just where you will and will not land when you move on this board. Hey, come close to the TV. Cut to the game board! Cut to the board! Thank you. Nine items, nine boxes. Look them over carefully. By the end of the game, I predict that you will land on a very, very special box. Of course, you probably know which one that is already, but why don't you just play along, okay? I want you to point your finger close to one of the nine boxes. Your choice. When I say go, I want you to spell out the name written in the box you chose and move your finger from box to box in any order you like. One box for each letter in the word. You can move up and down, you can move left and right, but you cannot move diagonally anywhere you like. Now, I know you're confused. It's got to be tried and experienced. Let's say you start on the box marked school. I don't know why you'd start on school, but there you go. 
There are six letters in the word school, so we're going to count six spaces. S C H O O L. And you landed on homework. Now you notice I started counting on a box next to school, not on school itself. Very important. Or you could move like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you land on burger. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, and you land back on school. You can do it anywhere you like, but make sure you count the exact number of letters in whatever box you start on and no diagonal lines. So that's enough of an explanation. Let's get on with the game. Choose one of the nine items. Point your finger at it. Now, spell out the name in the box, moving your finger one box for every letter. Go. Right, I'm getting a mental picture. I see that you did not land on the box marked pizza, did you? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. Then we'll just take it away. Now, you cannot move onto that one again. Now, wherever you are on the board, I want you to count four spaces. Move in whatever order you like. Four spaces. Count now. Wait, wait. I feel a rush. I'm going to eliminate two boxes. I'm going to take away your music. So I might as well take away dancing too. <laughs> That's what you'll get for not landing on them. Next. Wherever you are now, you're going to move three spaces on whatever boxes are left. Move three times. Well, I feel so bad about taking away your music and your dancing, I'm going to eliminate school. I thought you'd like that. Now, move Two spaces. Well, if you don't have school, you don't need homework, so your homework is vaporized. Now, I want you to move three spaces. And we'll take away, I see it now, the candy box. And uh, finally, move one space. Yes, we take away the TV box. We take away the burger box. And just as I predicted, you've landed on something very, very special. America's favorite, Kool-Aid brand soft drink. I know you're all out there saying to yourselves, that's no entertainment miracle. Just a coincidence. What a fake. You're a sham. Well, the best way I can prove it to you is to ask you to rewind the tape back a bit and start somewhere else. Pizza, burger, dancing. You can begin just about anywhere. I know just where you'll end up. Amazing. Well, I have to go now. I'd love to stay, but I haven't paid my electric bill. Going mental. <laughs> Meanwhile, on a seemingly peaceful street not that far from you...
symphony, I'm hip on a hip tip. Check out my flop flip, let's take a hype trip. Hippin' and hoppin' non-stop, I ain't stopping. Slamming through the ceiling, this is fun that I'm popping. Stuff with a bluff till you can't get enough. What is your stupid? It's fat the way I'm looping. Let the beat I wrote float like a boat on water. Got the wacky wild lyrics, and you just order. Eat what you need them to be hip as you can. I'm the K-O-O-L-A-I-D, man. Somebody say, somebody say, oh yeah! Kool-Aid man on the way. Say, twiddly, 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 twiddly. Uh, Kool-Aid man gonna make you smile. Kabiddly diddly. Be fine. And now, a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a mischievous little monkey named Wilmer. Wilmer loved to play monkey tricks on unsuspecting grown-ups. One day, Wilmer was at the local airport and decided to play a monkey trick on Pilot Bob. Oh, that Wilmer! What kind of monkey shines is he up to now? You see, what Pilot Bob didn't know is that Wilmer had a basic and fundamental understanding of the mechanics and aerodynamics of modern aircraft. And for all his comical hijinks, Wilmer knew he wasn't doing anything that would put Pilot Bob in danger. What Wilmer hadn't counted on, however, was Pilot Bob's terrible temper. Meanwhile, at that very moment, little Doreen was lying to her parents. When they didn't believe her, she said, If I'm lying, may an airplane fall on my head. So remember, boys and girls, always tell the truth. Because you never know when there's a lunatic monkey in a runaway airplane right above your head. In our last episode... And now... potatoes? Yeah! Well, it's time for the one-minute wacky wild workout oh, yeah. with your host, the eminent wackier sizeologist, the hunk with bulk, the hunk with spoke, and one heck of a nice guy, the Kool-Aid Man! Oh, yeah! Stand up. Put your hands in the air. Jump up and down. Sit in the chair. Put your elbow on your knee and your head on your hand. Make a funny face. Then again, stand. Twirl around like a spinning top. Keep on twirling, now stop. Rub your head, cause you're still feeling dizzy. Take a deep breath, now we're gonna get busy. Do jumping jack. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now sit on the floor. Take a deep breath, now back up on your feet. Do the Kool-Aid man wiggle to the wacky wild beat. Pack the top of your head and rub your belly. Now shake your body like a tub of jelly. Take out your thumb and touch your nose. Wiggle up your fingers and stand on your toes. Count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, now sit on the floor. But don't you get comfy, stand back up. Take a deep breath. Huh. The minute's up. Oh, yeah. From the canine TV newsroom, Kool-Aid brand soft drink presents Ooh. Dog News Tonight, spanueling the globe to bring you the latest news about dogs, for dogs, and by dogs. Ooh. Dateline, Northern California. A dramatic rescue this afternoon as Beowulf a handsome four-year-old Siberian husky resourcefully commandeered a nearby hang glider and intercepted in mid-air a middle-aged human who had clumsily fallen off a cliff. 
Beowulf then heroically floated to safety with his heavy cargo and was rewarded with some yummy table scraps and a nice tickle under his chin. The human was not injured. Dateline, Bassett, Chusets. The 19th annual human agility trials were held today and once again Dexter, the local favorite, took top honors as his human, a Dutch-Irish mix named John Vanderslice, passed the leg-weaving event with flying colors. The human was less successful with the backflip event, no matter how often he was shown, how easily it's done. In sports today, another setback for Dweedles, the primitive humanoid who's been trying to land a pitching spot in the United Fetching League. He tried all afternoon, but was unable to throw a single ball directly at the Fetching League's champion catcher, McCarver, which understandably got the veteran plenty mad. Better luck next evolution, Dweedles. And now it's time to play Stump the Dog, starring Neil, the unstumpable wonder dog. Hello, and welcome to the show. Today, Neil would like to play a number game with you, Neil. Thank you. Kids, please think of a round number from two to nine. What? Pick a number from two to nine. Have you got it? Okay. Good. Now, you multiply your number by two. Now, you don't have to do this in your head. You can use pencil and paper if you want to. Okay, now, to the new answer, add four. And when you finish, take the new answer, the green question mark, and divide it by two. Now, from that, you will take away the number you first thought of. What? You subtract from the red answer the first number that you started with. Now, Neil will tell you what the remaining number is. It's two. What? You're left with two. I know that. You can rewind the tape and try it again with another number. The answer is always going to be two. Well, that is all for now. Gee, I wonder if there's anything interesting on another channel. It doesn't. Tonight, Thirst Patrol asks your help in locating the following individual. His given name is Kool-Aid Man, alias K. Kool-Aid Man, alias Two Quarts O'Fun. He is wanted in connection with a series of unusual entrances in the name of Quenching Thirst. These dramatizations illustrate his standard modus operandi, an unexpected and frequently earth-shaking bursting on the scene, usually prompted by a child's exclamation of, Hey, Kool-Aid Man! Mrs. X of Skeleton, Kentucky was paid a recent visit. It all happened so suddenly. Hey, Kool-Aid Man was all my nine-year-old said. Next thing I knew, it was like an earthquake. And I was perfectly willing to let him in the front door, too. Once he appears, Kool-Aid Man has been known to demonstrate his unexpectedly proficient abilities on skateboards, horses, toboggans, and go-karts, much to the chagrin of nearby adult authority figures. Yeah, I run a pretty respectable roller rink here in town. Then he showed up. Oh, sure, everybody was happy to see him. Everybody had a nice, refreshing glass of Purple Saurus Rex flavor Kool-Aid, but have you seen my wall? Who's gonna clean that up? Kool-Aid Man has frequently been spotted in supermarkets, convenience stores, and on top of large cardboard boxes set up by children alongside suburban streets. If you see this individual, you are advised to take him home immediately. Of course, you should pay the nice cashier first, or else we'll be after you on Thirst Patrol! Okay, so this guy wants to buy a newspaper, right? So he puts the quarter in, but the door doesn't open, won't budge. So this kid comes up, hits the machine a couple times, presto, newspaper. So the guy tries it, same way, nothing. Puts another quarter in, tries it again, still nothing. Cops show up, think he's a lunatic. So the guy kicks the thing, door pops open. And? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
You see? I was... I was... You see? I was... Oh, no, you don't understand. It's out of order. You're out of order, you maniac. Take him away. At that very moment, on the other side of town... Smile, cold Kool-Aid style. No kind of working, just jerkity jerking. Smiling and smirking, laughing and burping. Swollen pockets mean I'm better than you know. That ain't bad when you think about it. Yo, I'm a see you, maybe be you. I'm controller on a roller, but until I'm a chick, I'll still be really ill like that. That, 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 that. Oh, yeah. Somebody say, somebody say. Kool-Aid man is here to stay. Say, twiddly, twiddly. Twiddly twiddly, Kool-Aid man gonna make you smile. Skabilly diddly. Be fine. Where are you gonna find all the hottest toys? On the planet Mars? No! On a mountaintop? Uh-uh! Cause we got KB Toy Stores, it's the place to shop, you'll see all the latest toys to choose from Hot We Got at KB. Can't find that popular new toy? If it's hot, then KB's got it. And you'll find a big selection of the hottest toy hits every day at all of our convenient locations. All the latest toys to choose from Hot We Got at KB.